Uh, we, we all pretty much know <clears throat> about what's project manager about, about right? So uh, you guys probably already seen it, been here over a year, and you know, so I know you guys are pretty much, a lot of this thing you guys already know, but I'd like to emphasize some of the stuff to help you. And then uh, at the end of the, each section, I think we need to uh, discuss what needs to be added on, what you think, or questioning, or what you think is, you know, it should be, or what, whatever. We gotta open this question every, every night. So, um, let's go over, I'll choose better. All right, so I, I phase it out, project managing. Okay, project managing is really, really important for the company. That's where you break it, you make it, right? To, so what, what is the best way we can project managing? But, you know, don't, don't get um, confused that what I did is, is, is always right, right? What I did may be proven to be somewhat right because, you know, it's been pretty successful. But, you can always make it better. You can always make improvement in certain areas. And so, we've got to discuss some of that. Uh, first, we've got to talk about, to begin with, no, not here, the contract. Let's start with the contract. Bidding is uh, something that we're going to talk about separately with estimating. The contract is, is what we're going to talk about. Okay? When we bid the job, as you know, there is a contract that needs to happen. Right? We're not going to work on just verbal contract, obviously. We have to have written contract. But almost always, contract contains all the phrases that's only good for whom? Not us. Good for other party who writes the contract. Whoever writes contract has advantage because they're gonna put everything on their protection, not us. They're, gonna, they're not gonna look after us. But unfortunately, we have to work on their contract. Okay? So even during contract, there are certain <coughs> items that we need to clarify. So I put the first one is the communication between estimating and PM. Okay. When we do when we get a contract, obviously there's a there's a phase the estimating guy needs to make a transition to um, um, the PM, who whoever in charge. Let's say uh, Chris did the job and he, he, he worked on the contract. He before contract signed before contract sign, I want both the estimate who, who estimated who estimated on the job and project manager to communicate and discuss about the project. That's where almost nine out of ten we never back out on contract. But there's a time we did back out of contract. Because we made a mistake. I mean people make mistakes. And you, you need to be blunt and say, hey, I'm sorry. I fucked it up. And they're gonna, be, of course, they're gonna be up and down and right. Mm -hmm. What can you do? Yeah. Right. But we gotta, um, we gotta gauge whether we need to back out. But it's, it's really rare, rare in, instance. <clears throat> right. Uh, one thing I backed out recently is the um, career job in Tennessee. Um, I think we have never been there, but. We made a mistake, <coughs> um, not adding demolition part of hmm. the re 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 roof. So our margin, is, of course, is big difference. Right? Yeah. Um, so um, sometimes uh, when you bid the job, directly to the owner, more than half time, they're they let you go if you give him the right reason <coughs> you back it up. You have to prove to him spreadsheet why I mean, well, how he derived the figure, how he made a mistake. Of course, you, you make it out sometimes, right? <laughs> and they say, you know, because the owner, because you know, we deal with the government. Owner doesn't. It's not money from their pocket, right? It's anyway government money set aside. They're gonna use, mm -hmm. so they don't want a problem to begin with. They don't want any problem. So if you say you want to back out, they can let you go without any penalty. But they can charge you five percent of the bid amount. Legally, they can pursue that, <coughs> but almost more than 50% owner, they just let you go if you give them. 
but here you gotta prove that somehow there's a time time period you have to do it. Uh, yeah. So um, fortunately, I backed that out, and um, they they okayed it. Yeah, no problem. Move on. Um, so I like to have a just communication between estimating, you know, PM. So estimation. Uh, what I know when you do estimating, we, we do a summary sheet of things. So, but once you talking to um, to GC about potential contract, you need to find, you need to more more de more detailed summary sheet. Mm -hmm. That way, I think you have to probably re re um, revisit all the yeah. spec and plan to so okay. make it more detailed. Because yeah. uh, usually a lot of bidding, because we have so many jobs we're bidding, we just put the just main yeah, items. Just but now you get a little bit more detailed item, so you can communicate with PM. And turn it over to him, and then okay. So that's why it's estimating summary. This is what you're doing right now, right? right. We're doing we're doing very general, right. you know, big picture right. estimating summary yeah. at the bidding the bid date. Mm -hmm. But once you t start talking contract, you need more defined yeah. estimating. So what's your thought process needs to transfer <coughs> to PM, right? So all this thing so far, I mean. Didn't, we didn't have to do this because pretty much I did everything. So I didn't have to talk to anybody. I've been doing it. But now I like to make a system where people take care of by the department. So that way, so, so, so we never have good communication. <clears throat> when, you do, you, when you do things, everything, you don't need to communicate with anybody. You're doing your own way, your thoughts, there, everything you're building there. So, um, um, so we got to, and then at the contract, when the contract comes in, right, when the contract comes in, we need to have things we need to clarify, right, contract clarification, right, we got to read it. Some people give us a whole encyclopedia, and like they give us like 100 page of contract, but out of 100 page, what is really pertaining to us, maybe three, four pages. They added all the other, say, you know, you, you know, all the general provision, right, they, so to speak, they all the stuff, cover their thing, and then, but what we need to be careful of checking on um, is, um, this is, this is just a small thing, we need to check on the scope sheet, we need to check on scope sheet, there's a scope sheet, right, um, okay, okay, you know, you know, let's go what, but you know what, right, right, the reason I said thing situation timing, okay. let's go down, that is, when we're going to execute this contract, the timing of contract execution and debt. Uh, because <clears throat> what I mean by that is uh, sometimes you want a contract to be go out cut really quick. Sometimes you don't. It depends on the situation <clears throat> of GC, of where I am. If I got something more to ask later, clarify that GC, usually GC doesn't know about. <coughs> but they don't know all the fine detail. But they're not expert on every every division. So they rely on us to cover everything. But there's always vague, vague items, such as framing, some uh, window seal, or, you know, curve, who's gonna break, those things, right? But as I've been telling you guys, our, our general proposal, we make it pretty much general. We make it pretty much vague. So that's where Times Contract to clarify everything. They want to clarify everything. Nowadays, Big GC, they wanted to score meeting, which is good for both parties. But that's the main baby, two, three out of ten contract. Usually, they give us contract with their phone. And, yes. So uh, this timing, we've got to think about timing when I'm going to send this fully executed. Now, with that, we need to clarify, clarify our exclusion. So we need to know, define what it is. Yeah, obviously, there's their contract scope. They're not gonna tell us, oh, you're not doing wood rocking, you're not doing metal frame. They're not gonna find any of those frames, okay? But we might want to clarify it. some things. Right. We'll go, um, at the contract, you might want to think about the bonding insurance requirement. That's why you need to review what's bonding requirement, what's the insurance requirement there. Contract. So project manager needs to do this along with that. So this needs to. So in, sometimes insurance requirement is beyond our limit. For instance, in our case is umbrella coverage. Um, we have up to two million umbrella coverage. Um, some GC like Manhattan, they want three million. So in order to get one more million, 
we have to pay like a few thousand more a year just to, just to um, satisfy one project, right? Because the insurance company does not recognize a single job. They just go a whole policy period. So once we apply for another million, million more umbrella policy, basically it covers us throughout the year. At the same time, most of the job doesn't need it. So because that project, per project, that project, we gotta bump up our umbrella and pay extra premium, 5,000, whatever, right? So in that instance, can we ask GC, hey, we need the additional money because your requirement is beyond what is our limit. And some GC say, okay, two million, I'll accept it. Oh, it's okay for you, there's exception. But some of them know you gotta have this. Especially big company, it's a like government. They're not flexible. They didn't make those low tier be flexible. So for now you gotta have it as our policy or that, I'm okay. Then, then can we ask more money? That depends on the situation. Because if, if the other party, the, the situation meaning, is there other party other than us? That you, you can, you can kind of, you know, guess who's closer to our number. And sometimes general, you can tip off GC and say, okay, fuck it, Eastern, I can go this guy. He can match your price. If it's few thousand dollar difference, not a, you know, yeah. They can always, they can always find somebody who can, who can match price, almost always. Unless you're extremely low, nobody want to touch it. Then it's a problem. Yeah, then it's a problem for us too. Yeah, you're right. right. So they can always find a back door who would never bit the job. Okay, Eastern fucked this up, so I'm gonna go to ABC, Durfer. Hey, <coughs> this is Eastern price. Can you match? Can you beat it? Yes, sir. I'll do it. Right, all the time. That that that. For example, Adele's feel like that. We're not even low bidder. We're second. But the GC call us. I didn't like this guy. So can you match? He open up. The Danny Crabby open up the whole thing. Okay. Peter, can you do this? So, of course. I mean, if it's not something, it's good. So, uh, <clears throat> we gotta um, make sure when we communicate the contract with GC, make sure we're pushing in the as much as we can so they don't get what it takes off. Okay? So that's where timing comes important. When are we gonna to discuss this? Is it right now, or can I delay last minute? Right? When we <coughs> keep on, you know, usually guidelines. If we can delay as much as later, that's better position for us. Because it's human nature. At the last minute, they don't like to shop around. They don't like all the hassle, and then they don't have time. So they're willing to do a little bit more, you know, negotiation negotiation room. So uh, and then you gotta check on any. Unusual language is depend on the project, something that is not irrelevant. For instance, uh, uh, Edward Livingston, uh, which is coming up, they put the phrase that uh, Division 5, 400, like gauge framing, core form like gauge framing. They put in our scope, all the division, not, not included and not limited to those sections. What does that mean? So we got to do 5, 400? <coughs> they, they could pursue it. Hey, you're conscious that you're doing this section? Probably not, right? What they're meaning is head channels. So they just put the whole section there. So I have to clarify. Hey, that's only limited to head channel on the wall panel only. Those things, you know, you gotta clarify. Uh, so this most important thing is time of contract execution. That's most important thing. When we're gonna sign the contract. We're gonna delay it. Uh, something we clarify. That's that's the most important thing. So some job, Edward Livingston, I have not signed contract yet. There's a couple more things I want to talk because now we will get down to you know now head channel clarification. But there's other item. They got beam wrap, which they call for 16 gauge, 16 gauge beam wrap. The 68 beam wrap at the soffit area. Uh, 16 gauge, right? Um, it's not in our yeah. spec section. If they clarify anything, and that because of VE, they're totally so. I'm pretty sure nobody picked it up, and they think we're gonna do it probably. Mm -hmm. I mean, common sense. A lot of time, common sense. It makes sense for us to do it, but you're doing soffit. <coughs> it's go between the soffit, but at the same time, 16 gauge words spec, nowhere. That's one of the vague items, right? 
So right now, that child is very profitable yeah. job, so I don't want to lose it. At the same time, I don't want to do that, all right? So I want to delay it as much as possible, and then, and then you know, sign the contract. And then there's a, there's a rubber, I think they say rubber, because at the time, it was an insulated wall panel, it's an integral rubber system. Insert wall panel has an integral rubber that, 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 that matches up like puzzle, fit it together. That's why Century pushed it for a long time. Nobody did it. So Century got the exclusive spec because they got integral <coughs> rubber system. But now everybody makes it. Morning start making it. But it's over budget. So it's single skin flush panel, wall panel. But I'll still put the in integral rubber. But as you know, the uh, flush panel does not have an in integral rubber. So I didn't clarify exclusion at the time because uh, if I have to I take one, it's only four small, it's not small, but it's a you know, decent sized rubber. If I can take it, I can take it. But I don't want at the time of bidding, I don't want to say it, I exclude it. Because GC doesn't like your exclusion. Or oh, if you exclude it, I don't want somebody to exclude everything. So now they say, okay, I like your price, you go on now, they say, why are you not doing rubber? So, so, so it's good to not usually should be doctor, usually rubber should provide by a mechanical guy. Mm -hmm. Right? And then they know yeah, either they know that, but it's on your spec. Mm -hmm. I thought, hey, Octa made a mistake. The integral rubber, there's no integral rubber in our wall panel, a uh, DE wall panel system. Is how we know. For that. How we know. Is just so you take it. So I'm still arguing a little bit, but you know, eventually I, this is how I do the same thing in Hall County. And then I'll get this and try to get that out. Okay, I'll take the river, but at that same time, I might just, boom, hey, this beam rise is ours. So, uh, <coughs> so contrary is where, is where we're going to make some little more money or lose a little more money. The contrary is very important. That's where we're going to make a little more money, lose some more money. That's why we're clarifying it. Uh, so, so these are very basic of contract process. So any question? Contract? Before we go over the middle. I don't know. My question might be a little like, uh, I was thinking like for, you said time of contract execution, execution like what's the latest that you can hold out? To? It depends on the job. You have to feel for it. How, how much I can push it. Depend on the contractor. So Manhattan, they said 14 days, you gotta send it in. Because, you know, they, they, they've been uh, uh, having bad situation okay. before. But some contracts, they didn't put it. Usually they wanted to execute our contract by probably in two, in two weeks. Before start. Yeah. But last time, if you, if you go beyond two weeks, they forgot about it. <laughs> you know, they, later before we start, where's my contract? Uh, oh, I didn't send it? Okay. <laughs> At that time, I can push everything. Uh, okay. Fair fine, right? Sometimes the GC is kind of holding up on a contract. What? What would be the reason behind that? Do you see? Yeah, sometimes you know we're waiting on a contract still. Yeah, I think they're just last. Being lazy. Yeah, the PM is PM. Their project manager is so lazy. So there's no, there's no. Just like you know, sometimes we, that. sometimes we hold just the middle as late as possible because <laughs> even though we could do it three weeks before, same thing. Okay. Yeah. I just didn't know if there's any benefit on GC side yeah. doing that. No. Okay. No, GC, I think they wanted to contract right away. Unless they, you know, internally they try to shop around, mm -hmm. they're they find they couldn't find nobody. Who knows? But okay, yeah, okay that I'll waste them if I couldn't find nobody mm -hmm. to waste them. Some GC is notorious shopping, okay. even after bid. Yeah. So uh, we got we got to know who what, what what kind of GC we deal with. Yeah. Uh, some GC is good, some just not. So we got depend. You know, we play the game in their arena. Now ours, play game their way. Now, so I, our game has to change depending on who, who we deal with. So, um, so contract, basically that's basic fundamental contract. All right, we're gonna go to after.